Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Justin here. I've been waiting for a while now to do this video because I've been waiting on the September update from the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius YouTube page and it's finally out. And to a lot of the players and to my dismay as well, they did not state anything about the current global uh, shitstorm that they are facing right now. Now, there are, there are people saying that they did not say anything simply because they took the video before the shitstorm hit them. But that is kind of not acceptable to me because if I knew, if I was like the director, right, if I was Hiroki, and I knew that, you know, my player base is unhappy simply because of the myriad of problems that I'm going to I'm gonna talk about, right, I will, I will totally do another video, right? Maybe even add, add an additional, you know, section to the end of the video at the very least right that's that's what i will do you know coming from a coming from a common man standpoint right that is just that is that is just the, the right thing to do right people are shelling out hundreds and thousands of dollars to play your game and you guys just meh it's, it's nothing's going on right that's not how you do business Right. So first and foremost, you guys take away our unit of choice ticket and did not say anything about it. And don't think I did not know that you guys wanted to put that UOC ticket that was missing into a cash bundle. Right? You guys said that there will be a different system for global. Ha! Huh? So that you guys can enjoy as in you guys as in us. Right, so that we can enjoy like a better playing experience. Right, there was actually a data miner that saw the little bundle that they accidentally leaked into a cash bundle. Right, so every time you guys say that there will be a different system for global, you guys take away something that is good for the players and in turn turn it into profit for yourself right this has this has hold true held true for the past two years since your anniversary i i i don't know why you guys i mean okay if let's say you guys were to give us the 1000 uoc ticket and then you guys put the 150,000 into the bundle that's that's actually okay in some sense but you guys give us the 150,000 one and keep the 1000 one or even, or even, you know, because in JP there was like, at the start, it was like 1,000 and 150,000. There was two initially. Then after that, slow, slowly, it became three per King Mong event. And the, three, and the third one costs 300,000. If let's say you guys will have to, would, if let's say you guys were to give us, let's say, 1,000, and 150,000 and then the 300,000 one you put it into a cash bundle that wouldn't be too bad as well you know I, we are all fine with grinding out the events guys we are all fine with grinding out all these king mock currencies because it's ffbe it's all about grinding right but the thing is you guys have been taking us players like your i don't know i don't know what to say uh because i feel very used in some sense because we support the game right we spend money to support the game so that the game can continue on for players to enjoy and what is the most important thing in in ffbe it's the community guys all of us together we discuss strategies to defeat the trials we discuss about the units that are coming we discuss about whether or not it's worthy to pull for that certain unit Remember the times when we had Noctis, we had Orlando, right? Remember the times when when um, the, the machine guy came out? What's his name? Uh, you guys can see over there. Wait, wait, no, it's here. Right, this this guy. Agayon, right? Remember Agayon? These were the these were the defining moments in FFBE that 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 set the foundation of FFB in stone for, for right now, the 7-star meta. And Global being the, the copy of 
JP, right? We expect refinements, better refinements for the players, like overall experience in the game. However, we do not feel that. A lot of the times we feel like you guys are just taking us for a ride and a lot of the times you're... Okay, let's let's stop talking about like um, how, how you have taken us for a ride. Let's talk about facts, right? Why do we feel that we've been we've been taken for a ride number one your bundles oh wait number one was the uoc tickets right so the uoc tickets is number one number two your bundles right why do you hide like specific materials and all that stuff in a bundle that only behind a cash wall right jp doesn't do that and they are very appreciative of that right they when you spend money like in JP, when you spend money, it's like you get double EX points, which is which is dope, but it doesn't affect every player, right? Okay, it's true that the materials are exactly not OP, all that stuff, but at the end of the day, like, if people were to buy that bundle, it is an indication that, you know, it is a successful business model and they will continue doing it and doing it over and over again. Why can't you guys... In fact, like, you are supposed to be a refinement, but we do not see the refinement done in global as compared to JP. Like, we feel that JP is the better game. A lot of the times, you guys have to stop saying that, oh, JP is a different game, right? I used to think that, right? Because, you know, it is true that JP is a different game. However, you guys are a copy of JP. You guys just translate the language into languages that we, people that do not understand Japanese, can play, right? Be it people from Taiwan, right, who understand Chinese, or us English players, or even people who understand German, or even Spanish, right? We appreciate that a lot, and that is why we support the game. And the reason why we feel so strong is because we love the game. But because you guys are destroying it, that's why we feel so strongly about the game, right? It's like your children, right? When your children do something wrong, you feel very strong about it. You need to correct it, right? There and then. But the thing is, if let's say you do not care, right? If let's say it's some other children, like, you don't give a shit. Like, why should I even say anything? Just be the, the exact reason now we feel we feel so shitty and we are voicing out to you is because we love the game and we do not want it to go to shit, right? That is why we feel, we the community feel so strongly about this current state. That's why we are talking to you guys and you guys are not replying. Okay, you guys did reply about, you know, the UOC tickets, where it's going to... Um, you came out with uh, this the the news that saying saying that the 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 UOC ticket is now going to be put in uh, the story if I'm not wrong the story event right I'm not sure I haven't read it entirely because I just feel like shit playing FAB nowadays um, but a lot of us would really appreciate it if let's say you guys could just come up with a Facebook post a YouTube video stating okay we have done this and this and we are terribly sorry. We will do this and this to remedy. No, you guys do not, right? Don't don't think we do not know that you wanted to put that UOC behind a cash wall, guys. Like seriously, the the global player base is fucking smart, right? It, I'm not I'm not the one that find it, found it out, but Reddit is there. Everyone can see it, right? And on top of this, okay. Uh, on top of the UOC tickets, the bundles. Okay, talking about bundles as well, JP always get those like... Okay, you remember the 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 bundle that you came out for the... Uh, shit, what's that collab? There was this... Uh, oh, the Just Now collab. Remember the Just Now collab? Just... No, Just Not Just Now. Just Cause, right? Fuck. Just Cause, right? Remember the Just Cause collab where you guys released a Lapis bundle? That was whew, damn awesome, right? That was super good. I love that. But you guys, I, I don't know what it's going to cost you to release such bundles, like maybe twice. Okay, uh, I mean once in two months, 
or maybe once every month. I don't know. We still need lapis to buy it, right? But I I barely see anything like the Just Cause bundle anymore. <sighs> okay, now moving on to the third point. Why do you guys always... Whenever there's something wrong with the game that benefits the players, right? You guys just take it out of the game right away with some sort of emergency maintenance. But then things that have been persistent in the game like map text, this, 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 or all these little bugs in the game, right, that has built up in for, for the past year or so, you guys have not, even the friends list shit, right, we have, or even like the alternative login method that you guys said that you were working on. These are the things that actually matter to us a lot. But you guys chose not to work on those, but instead focus all of your energy on things that would benefit the company instead of the player base. Of course, at the end of the day, you guys want to make money. We understand, right? We we players understand. That's why like people like me, like all the other YouTubers, you know, Evil Laughter, you know, we used to have Ziz, Peck Maki, you know, we have Click right all of these players support the game okay it's it's just look at dyer holy shit look at the amount of pulls he's doing it's crazy man you just count the amount of lapis that he has to buy and then you just multiply it by by the 138.98 in the store Not supporting the game, ah. You guys sell, ah. Why? Why are you making it so difficult for the player base? I don't feel. I. I it feels like a chore logging into Final Fantasy Brief XVS nowadays. Looking at. Like recently, we had the. We had the. Uh, this, shit. What's the collab? The the one where we get the robot guy and then the lion and all that. The, the monster carnival thing I'm not sure what's the name of that collab because I've, I've, I feel so like, drained out nowadays I'm not sure if you guys are standing with me or not but I I still want to play FFB there's a there's, there's a there's a deep residing within me I want to play FFB but you guys are not are not rewarding your players guys and then you come up with 5 plus 1 summon what the fuck what is a 5 plus 1 summon it's already hard enough to get to get a rainbow from a 10 plus 1 summon and you guys come up with half of it. Like, why? You guys can just give us the summon, right? Like the 10 plus 1 ticket. And then you guys come up with a 5 plus 1. It's like half fuck. Forgive my language, but this video really cannot, cannot, cannot hold it in. Really. Need to let it all out, right? You know the one that irks me the most is the one where they suspended the player simply because they used the the unit of choice ticket to 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 choose uh, Shadow Lord or uh, Shantoto. It's not like Shantoto or Shadow Lord is gonna be like meta defining or or, the, or whatever. I know you guys just wanna make it seem like uniform, right? You guys have rules to rules to follow, right? You guys want it to be apply throughout all the all the platforms but here's the thing if you guys have the manpower to be able to correct all of these little things that you guys done wrong in the first place this is your mistake right you guys made a mistake to allow to allow players to use the unit of choice tickets for shantoto or shadow lord however you guys took that away from all the players and reverted all of it if you guys had like imagine the amount of players that that you guys have right you guys reverted that you suspended the users accounts and then you reverted it and then it, it wouldn't it take you a lot of time right 
And during that crisis, you guys perfectly told us the reason for the maintenance, the reason for the suspension, and the time you require. Why not you apply this to all your different, you know, maintenances and stuff? And we are in, we had enough of the due to unforeseen circumstances. Like what what the hell are you doing? Right? Due to unforeseen circumstances. Almost I can predict guys, like almost every month uh, there will be four maintenances, right? And then of these four maintenances, three of them or two of them, at least half of it will have extended maintenance. And you guys told us that you will be working on and uh shortening your maintenance times and all that it's all well and good right we are very happy but the thing is you do not promise what you cannot deliver in fact the truth is if let's say you were to tell me that jp and global is a different game then you guys should be ashamed that global is shittier than jp i would rather you give us what jp has you just copy 100% of JP and just convert it into English. I would be happier. Honestly, do you know that JP, when the second anniversary hit them, they already had UOC tickets? And till today, we still do not have UOC tickets for for the for the that two King Mock events. So in essence, we are already we are already missing out on four. And then on top of this, you guys wanna you guys wanna put the UOC tickets behind a paywall. And seven star units are really very hard to get. And yes, you can say that uh, seven star units are not mandatory and all that. But at the end of the day, people people want to get seven star units because they are the best, right? And on top of that, there will come a day where you need a full team of seven stars or not you cannot defeat the, the the trial okay granted that okay you do not need a full team of seven stars but you at least need a seven star tank you need a seven star chainer and on top of that you require a, a, a full team setup especially your healer as well right so that is what we need but you guys are not are not assisting us to do that right also you know you know the friend like every king monk event you will want to set a certain friend unit so that your friends can use that particular feature right is is very useful because okay jp will have this feature where you are you are able to change your friend request you know sometimes you have uh Mesos, you have friend points, you have those, uh, what do you call it? The little crisps, right? Those are your friend request items. You are, by now, JP, at the same timeline, uh, guys, JP already has this feature where if your friends were to use your unit, you will get this experience level, uh, friend experience bar, where if let's say a certain amount of people use your units, you will get an additional stat bonus, additional guild bonus, additional experience bonus, and on top of that, when you request for that certain item in your friends list, right, you can request for the king mock currency or the raid currency. How awesome is that? Right? So people will be compelled to want to pull for the unit and set it as a friend unit so other people can use and in turn, return to the player additional gear, additional experience, additional stats for all the units, additional uh, currency for the unit. This is all the things, all, all of these little things add up together to become a very huge shithole. So fix your shit, guys. Like, honestly speaking, right? This is, this is how I feel like currently in the current state of the game. And a lot of us, you, you guys have to know that if, if you guys are listening out there, lah, you guys have to know that your player base is not stupid. Right? We have access to Reddit, we have access to a lot of sources to know what is coming up and also what 
what is the differences between JP and global? And we had enough. Right? In fact, I do not even feel like pulling for Hyo because if we pull for Hyo, it feels like, oh, as long as we pull, put a, a new meta-defining unit, all is fine. Everyone is going to continue spending money on the game. But the thing is, Hyo is meta-defining. Right? So that, that, that is the clash. You see? So I feel like if, let's say, I can don't pull for Hyo, I will not pull for him. And what is, what is this nonsense about, you know, the UOC can only be used after the banner of that certain unit is over? Like, what the shit? What if it's a Kingbok event and I want to grind more, more, more currency out of the Kingbok event? You are forcing us to pull with Lapis. And you are forcing us to spend money on the game. And what, what happens to your main player base, which is free to play? And on top of this, what if, let's say, I, what if, let's say I, had, I pulled, right? All my resources I spent. Even, let's say, I spend money on the game. And then I got one 5-star. I got that one 5-star base on that banner. Let's say currently Shentoto, uh, Livid Shentoto, right? Let's say I got Livid Shentoto and I want to get another one. I'm so close to getting another Livid Shentoto to make her 7 stars. And you guys prevent your player to do that. So this is, this is, there are a lot of different things combined together. But these are all the main things combined together. That caused all this nonsense right now so that's how I feel let me know in the comment section down below if let's say I what how I feel is 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 okay right you guys know that like I I'm a very opinionated person I will I will say what what is on my mind and yeah for those of you who watch this video thank you so much for watching and sticking with me I just feel like this game is if let's say they don't do anything it's gonna go to shit and yeah let me know if let's say you guys are pulling for Hyodo. Uh, I'm still quite conflicted so yeah take care see ya bye